Very few know about the hidden meadow of Wawona, hidden practically in plain sight, but long ignored by the outside world. Strange things are there, strange things, some living, some not, but all of them bear tacit witness to the mysteries of which few dare to speak. Put on your Secrets of Wawona hats, because it's time for another episode of Secrets of Wawona. Faced with yet another mystery, our Secrets of Wawona team set to work digging for clues. Buried in Wawona's archaeological strata, somewhere between artifacts of the Bronze Age and the modern era, we found this archaic device that held a series of secret files marked Area 51. Here's what they show. In this top secret satellite photo of the Wawona Golf Course, highlighted on the right is the Wawona Hotel. On the left, the seventh fairway. And to the left of that, a little oval meadow in the trees. So we embarked on a treacherous journey from the steps of the Wawona Hotel through a smorgasbord of peril. After crossing the hotel's front yard, we pass dangerously close to the gas station, where distracted driving is the name of the game. Even worse was the crossing of the Wawona Road, which is the continuation of Highway 41, an unbroken strip of asphalt connecting Wawona to the coast. Some say that if you press your ear to the roadway, you can hear the crashing of the waves in Morro Bay. Crossing a tiny bridge over what was once called Big Tree Creek, we shared the clammy chill that ancient mariners felt crossing into territories marked on the map Hic Sunt Draconis, There Be Dragons. But we found something even more terrifying. Golfers. Anybody bold enough to trace these footsteps must be warned. There be golfers. If you value your life, keep your eyes open and your wits about you. If you have the misfortune to see a golfer, freeze in place and back slowly into the shadows, preferably behind a tree, until every one of them has finished their swinging, putting, and whatever else they do. If you don't, you may be subjected to unspeakable consequences. Best to avoid times of day when golfers are present. Our paths led us to an interpretive plaque connected to a place of dread just beyond, the slaughterhouse. The current slaughterhouse was built in 1927, used to process locally grown meat for the Wawona Hotel. We edged away from this once bloody site back toward the golf course in the seventh green, careful to avoid any golfers. Just below the seventh green, we found another plaque. It shows an old photograph of Clark's Station, founded by Galen Clark in 1857. The structure shown on the plaque actually stood about 700 yards to the east, just in front of the present Wawona Hotel. The text on the plaque, however, refers to our mysterious meadow. Continuing up the seventh fairway, careful not to walk on the carefully manicured green, 
we noticed an anomaly. Poking just above the mixed conifer forest to the west, the unmistakable tops of giant sequoia trees, and below them an opening into the meadow shown in the satellite photo. Here are the trunks of four giant sequoias, their trunks merging together into two pair. A photograph by George Fisk from the Yosemite Museum and Archives shows Galen Clark in 1888 in front of these very trees. On the back of the picture, we learn that Clark planted them 25 years earlier in 1863. Keeping company with the sequoias are several apple trees. and all are nourished by a little stream of water. Following the water to its source, we find a spring. Yosemite Museum photographs from the early 20th century show the spring was once covered, and accounts from after the golf course was opened in 1918 indicate it was a favorite stop for thirsty golfers. But a mystery still lingers in this meadow, the question of whether Galen Clark's first cabin was built here. Interviewed in 1963, Two old timers recalled that when they were boys more than 50 years earlier, Galen Clark himself told them that he'd built his first cabin in this little meadow. But a reporter personally acquainted with Clark in 1895 wrote that same year that Clark built his first cabin in front of the present Wawona Hotel in April of 1857. For historians, this primary source settles the question but a shadow of doubt remains. In addition to the sequoia trees, apple trees, and the spring, there is a flat, obviously artificial berm at the top of the meadow. Was it the foundation of a cabin, or was it left there by ancient astronauts? We are left to just wonder about this meadow of mystery, another one of Secrets of Wawona.